Hello, valued clients and friends. We are sending you this video communication as a mid-year touchpoint to what has been a bumpy first half of 2022. This year began with much optimism, as one in which we might put COVID-19 in the rearview mirror and cast aside fear and uncertainty and get back to a normal world as we know it. Instead, we've been experiencing quite a bit of turbulence geopolitically and in financial markets. In recent months, we've experienced significant swings and in many cases drops in the stock market and in our investment portfolios. There's been almost nowhere to hide as both stocks and bonds have experienced declines through the first half of the year. As of the end of April, both the S&P 500 and the broad market index have declined around 10 to 13 percent. This is a somewhat unusual circumstance given it's rare to see stocks and bonds declining simultaneously. In some sense, it feels as if we're experiencing a perfect storm that has been stirring up anxiety and instability in the markets and around the world. Starting in February, tensions flared geopolitically with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which caused an initial groundswell. Conflict from the war and economic sanctions directed at Russia sent tremors through the market. What's more, tensions in Europe and Asia sparked further upward pressure in oil, where prices had already been elevated, which continues to impact all of us through higher prices at the pump. We're also experiencing a spike in inflation, the likes of which we haven't seen in decades. This is due to extended supply chain disruptions and decades of government deficit spending. Beyond prices at the pump, prices for foods and services that are part of our normal daily lives have shot upwards, far more in a short period of time than we've become accustomed to by conventional measures. We're also seeing the Federal Reserve shift its policy and target a higher level of interest in an effort to cool off high inflation. For the first time in more than a decade, Americans are facing the prospect of meaningfully higher interest rates and borrowing costs after an extended period of ease and accommodation by our central bank. Furthermore, the shift in interest rate policy may eventually put a damper on what has been a red-hot housing and real estate market throughout most of the country. It's too soon to tell whether these sticker shocks so far in 2022 have the potential to cause a protracted decline in the real economy or diminish the long-term circumstances of both savers and retirees. It is possible that some of these changes could be more temporary in nature. For example, recent high inflation could potentially level off as supply chain constraints normalize coming out of the pandemic. On the other hand, conflicts in Europe and Asia have the potential to spread and the associated higher energy costs have the capacity to remain into the foreseeable future. With all of that being said, over the past few years, we've experienced extraordinarily buoyant markets and strong returns in our investment portfolios with low inflation, in spite of the numerous challenges we faced around the world. It's critical in times like these to zoom out and recognize the distinction between five months and five years in our perspectives and time horizon. Unless your financial circumstances have changed, we believe this is not a time to take unusual action related to your portfolio. Rather, it's a storm that should be weathered by the long-term investor with an existing plan in place. Those who sell in a market storm rarely notice when the storm clouds begin to lift. And as investors, missing stock market rebounds is perhaps one of the most significant risks to achieving long-term goals. Human emotions are among the root causes for extreme swings in the financial markets over time. Big drops and big headlines challenge our resolve to stay objective in our decisions. So often, fear or emotions trigger us to do the wrong thing at the wrong time. Getting personal for a moment, some of you know that I used to play competitive soccer. At times, even some of the best teams I would play on would go into a losing slump. It was in these moments that players would either dig in and focus on their fundamentals and long-term objectives, or start acting erratically and throw in the towel. As it relates to your portfolio, we can all learn a lesson from the world of athletics. Real long-term investors dig in during difficult times to focus on their long-term objectives, while inexperienced investors throw in the towel when times get tough. The reality is, storms are always on the horizon. The question is, what will you do when the storms come? In closing, if you have any questions or concerns that you would like to discuss, please don't hesitate to reach out and get in touch with your advisor. Even if you just need someone to speak to, we're here to help. And finally, thank you for the trust and confidence you've placed in us to help you both plan 
and invest for your future.